how to connect your Chromecast to phone. So you have connected all of the wires, you have also downloaded the Google Home app, now, but then you're not being able to figure out how you could actually connect it to your phone. Now, as you can see in my Chromecast on my TV, it says me to basically get the app. And this is the interface you get after you connect all of the wires and cables and the HDMI cables properly onto the port of your TV. Now, what we want to do is once we open our mobile phone right over here. So let me just go ahead and open my mobile phone. Once you open your mobile phone, the very first thing we want to do is we want to actually download the Google Home app, which is this app right over here. You can actually head over to your app store. Let me also go ahead and show you on my Google Play Store if I have actually one. So you can see this very app right over here. You want to make sure that you download this Google Home app onto your phone. It is available on both Android and iOS and the setup process is typically much the same. Now in order to connect it to our phone, I will simply open the Google Home app and in the background as well, you can see that our Chromecast is currently running. You can see your content and devices all in one place. So I'm going to tap on the get started button at the bottom of the screen. Over here, you want to simply select your Google account and then tap on the OK button again. As soon as you do that, it says me to actually create a home. So all you have to do is simply tap on this get started button, which you see. Let me tap on get started and let me also enter the nickname for my Google Home. So let me go ahead and select the name. Once you select the name, tap on the next button and it says me to basically enter the home address. Now you could actually go ahead and enter this if you want, but then I'm going to basically actually skip this process. So I'm going to tap on the skip button and then I'm going to tap on continue without address. You could go ahead and add it if you want. It is totally up to you. Now, basically what you have to do is you have to allow all of the Bluetooth and the network permissions, whichever this app requires. So you can see it is asking for all of the location access as well as you have to also enable it from the settings app. So I'm going to come back and then I'm going to come back again. And as you can see, we have successfully enabled the location access as well. Now we will simply go away and turn on the Bluetooth as well and tap on allow again. It says us looking for devices so basically we have to be very careful on this one it will look for the chromecast devices in the background you can see we have our chromecast device now you can see over here it says chromecast found and if you look closely right over here you can see this chromecast name and you want to make sure that this name also matches the name on your tv so let me go ahead and show you if you look at the bottom right hand side of the screen right over here chromecast 5879 that name as well as the name on your mobile application has to actually match if it is not then you should be aware that it could be someone else's chromecast make sure that you don't connect it actually to your neighbor's chromecast mistakenly once you find the chromecast tap on the yes button right over here and it says us connecting to chromecast now you can see the same code at the back of your tv as well and that code is also going to similarly appear on our app so you can see the code actually matches so i'm going to tap on the yes button at the bottom and then you can tap on yes i'm in and so on now you could actually enter where your tv or your chromecast is you could type in office or anything else i'm going to tap on next and you could also connect to wi-fi so at the very top you can see the wi-fi connection you can tap on it and then connect it to Wi-Fi similarly on your TV as well. You have to basically enter your Wi-Fi password. As you can see, it says connecting to Wi-Fi. So let us be patient and wait. You can see it also says Chromecast is now connecting to that particular Wi-Fi network. So finally, you can see that our Chromecast has actually been successfully connected. Now it is actually linking it. You could tap on the next button. You could go ahead and link your Netflix, your Spotify, your Hulu or any other streaming services which you have and then follow all of the steps accordingly. And after this, we have actually successfully connected our Chromecast to our phone. And this is how you can actually very easily connect your Chromecast to phone. We hope this video was really helpful and if it did help you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any more questions, queries or doubts, simply make sure to leave them down in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our next video.